about the game tonight, Tampa Bay is 3-0 and coming in, and uh, a lot of the guys I've talked to feel on your team that they've got something to prove tonight. You've heard people talking Tampa Bay, Rowdy's a well-known name in soccer, but uh, your guys want them. Well, I think you're exactly right, Bob. It is a well-known name. Um, I think our fans here are very knowledgeable of the indoor game and of soccer in general, and they can relate to Tampa Bay. And I think, you know, the crowd's really going to look forward to it as much as the players because they see this as sort of maybe uh, the big fish that we've been looking for to finish off here tonight with a good win and it will make Canton even more well-known in soccer circles. They are 3-0. and They have been outshot in all three of their games and they have been outshot by quite a bit in their last two. People have been getting opportunities against them but haven't been able to find the back of the net. They play a very patient game. Um, you find that probably when you sort of run and gun it a little bit, you're going to get more opportunities. They've got a lot of experienced players there. They tend to play it around quite a bit. They like to get passes together and they don't, you know, shoot aimlessly. They look, you know, more or less for the perfect chance sort of thing and I think that's one of the reasons why there's not a lot of shots going in from them. Randy Pickensinski. Forward number nine, Art Kramer. Forward number ten, Magic Celeste. Forward number eleven, Steve Gray. Defender number 14, Tim Tima. Defender number 15, Tom Cotre. Forward number 19, Kia. Defender number 21, Oscar Pizzo. Two remaining unbeaten teams in the AISA. The inventors, Invaders enter the contest with a week's rest off a 7-3 decision against the Toledo Pride. That win extended Canton's unbeaten streak here in the Civic Center to 22 games. That's been almost a year since they've lost in this building. Tampa Bay owns wins against Memphis, 4-3, Louisville, 3-1, and Fort Wayne, 6-2. Despite their 3-0 record, the Rowdies have been outshot in all three of those games and by big margins in the last two. 33-17 in a 3-1 win over Louisville and 37-20 in Tuesday night's 6-2 win against Fort Wayne. But, as you heard Trevor Dawkins uh, mention, that's part of their style. They've had the top defense in the league so far in the young season, giving up an average of just two goals per game. Arnie Mauser has played every game in goal for uh, Tampa Bay so far, and he's in there right now with a record of 3-0. Goals against average of 2.00. Jamie Swanner is in the net for the Invaders. He is 1-0, goals against average of 3.00. Takes the kickoff for Tampa Bay. Knocked away by Kia, taken by Condridge, and knocked to midfield by Don Tobin. Astigaraga in a race with Maurer, double teamed by Pisano. Tobin sliding tackle to knock the ball away from Rubin, and Oscar Pisano has it at the Invader red line. Canton on the attack. Tampa Bay will back up on defense. Maurer clears through the box in front. Kia working back to the net at the red line. Now back at midfield to Pisano. Right side against Astigaraga. Got it into Maurer. And the first foul push-off will go 
against Canton. Fasano got Ostagaraga. First foul on either team. Again, six will result in a two-minute penalty. Here is Arnie Mauser. 3-0 on the season in goal for Tampa Bay. Long lead ball for Ostagaraga in the left corner in the Canton end, working against Pisano. And they try to center, and he's got Frankovic with a weak shot, and it's cleared away by Kia. Out to Maurer. Maurer trying to get around Power. Power controls at midfield. They'll drop it back in their own end to Mike Fall. Fall in the arc, former member of the Louisville Thunder. And Mike Fall working against Donnie Tobin. Dish it back to Frankovic in front of the arc. Maurer against him. Bad pass off the wall. Pisano will knock it in off the boards. Frankovic flags it down there. And they'll dump it in the goal area for Mauser. Mauser outlet short on the left side to Frankovic. Frankovic stops and will reverse back away from Kia. Left side into the game is uh, Peter Rowe. And a bad pass knocked away by Kia. And taken right back from him by Mike Fall. Now to the game for Tampa Bay is David Dodge. And a long lead comes in on the left side. Nick Mangione. Mangione shot. No shot. And a good save by Swanner from point blank range. Off the foot of Tim Walters. Excellent job by Jamie. On a two and a half foot area where he had to shoot the ball. And Jamie able to get it. Long lead for Verdi Pekosinski. Verdi in the Tampa Bay end on the right side. Now Magic Celestin will back it up right side at midfield. Tim Tima comes in. And Kondrich is out. Here comes Schlotthauer. Walter winds and fires. Pekosinski with a deflection. And it's loose out front. Rudy looking for Kramer. It's knocked away from him. And Solomon Hilton can't get it. Magic Man does. Celestin off the left side boards back to himself. He'll back the ball away from Tim Walters. And Tima's got it at the edge of the midfield circle. Tima against Hilton for Rudy. Ball knocked away. And here comes Tampa Bay on the attack. It is Solomon Hilton. On the left side, right side, rather, to David Dodge. Now back at midfield to Walters. He had a hat trick in the first game of the year. Dump it in the left side. Tima is there working against Mangione. Mangione back out on the point. Throw a couple of steps in, and the ball knocked away by Rudy. Pekosinski will dump it back in the goal area. And Swanner rolls the outlet short on the right side to Tim Tima. We've played a little more than two and a half minutes with no score at the Civic Center. Here with 1480 WHBC, Canton, Ohio. Radio home of the Invaders. Two lucky Invader fan quarters tonight. The second and third quarter. We'll be playing our contest this evening. We'll tell you about that in a minute. Magic Celestin up the right side. He's got Rudy. Rudy shoots. Good save by Mauser. And he knocks it up into the girder work up top. And that'll be a dead ball. And the Invaders will kick it in from the right corner. Now they're going to take it out to the red line. That's the ground rule. Out to the red line. Schlotthauer feeds Art Kramer. Kramer looking for Rudy. Posted up out front. And the pass is behind Rudy and is taken away by Tim Walters for Tampa Bay. In the goal area, Arnie Mauser. Outlet short of the right side to Rowe. Peter Rowe, long lead. Nobody there but Celestin for Canton. Magic Man around one. Had the ball knocked away from behind. And here comes uh, Celestin to Kramer. Kramer shot deflected by Rowe, and he steers it in the goal area. Bowser picks it up just before Rudy Pekosinski arrives on the scene. Mike Fall back on the floor for uh, Tampa Bay. And now Ruben Ostigaraga, red line on the right side. Ostigaraga, ball headed away by Schlotthauer. Knocked away by Tobin, but taken back by Fall. And a foul on Fall on the trip. And that's one team foul on each club now. 11.24 to play in the first quarter. And you got a two-minute penalty coming up against Tampa Bay because Steve Wegerly doing some jawing with the official, and you're going to get two for unsportsmanlike conduct. The Invaders will go on the power play. Time of the penalty, 3.36 of period number one. Wegerly still jawing with the official, and if he's not careful, he may end up getting the yellow. He steps in the box. So the Invaders are two for three in the power play this season. Tampa Bay has given up one goal in six shorthanded situations. Three thirty-six is the time of the penalty. And the Invaders will go on the power play. Don Tobin, Walt Schlotthauer, Oscar Pisano, Rudy Pikasinski, and Kia are your power play team. Shorthanded team for Tampa Bay will spot in a minute. Walters, Fall, Steve Savage, the former invader, is out there. And so is Dave Power. In the corner, right side to Kia. Now Pisano. Pisano shot blocked by Fall. And they chase it out to the red line. 
And Don Tobin controls there for Canton. Airborne for Rudy. He heads it back to Schlotthauer. And back in the center circle to Oscar. A minute 31 left of the penalty. Pisano, red line in the middle of the floor now is Tobin. Toby feeds in the left side to Schlotthauer. Thunderfoot back to Toby. Oscar winds and fires, and Mauser comes up with a save. He grabs it and holds on. Long ball, and it'll go off the boards and controlled by Swanner in the Canton end. A minute 12 left in the Tampa Bay penalty. 10.34 to play in the first quarter. No score. Pisano back in the Tampa Bay end. Now on the left side, it comes to Schlotthauer. Walter to Tobin. Toby a couple of feet outside the red line, middle of the floor. Right side feed comes to Pisano. He fires. It's blocked. Kia can't the deflection. Power clears it. And Tobin will flag it down at midfield with 53 seconds left in the Invader power play. Toby looking for Kia. Kia shoots, and he knocked it out of play. Tampa Bay will put it in. 46 seconds left in the penalty and 10.09 to play in the first quarter. Arnie Mauser to put the ball in play for the Rowdies. And they send it to Steve Savage. Savage, hair's a lot shorter than it used to be. Mike Fall takes it down in the Canton end. Fall chewing up some penalty time down in the corner. Pisano with him step for step. Rudy Pikasinski to double team. And Rudy able to heal the ball to Oscar. 33 seconds left in the penalty. Here comes Tobin across the Canton red line. The long-haired lad from Liverpool across the midfield circle. He's got Pisano to his right. Schlotthauer to his left. Now Kia in the right corner. Kia against Fall. Out to Pisano. 20 seconds. Oscar to Tobin. Tobin lets it go. Shot was blocked. Good defensive play by Walters. Walters and Tobin in a race. Walters got there first. Pisano. Great save by Jamie. Coming up on the shot by Walters. And here comes Pisano. Eight seconds left in the penalty. Pisano across the Tampa Bay red line. Kia looking for Rudy. He shoots off the top of the post. The penalty is over. Tampa Bay has killed it off. Invaders continue the attack. Schlotthauer, he did not see Wegerly coming out of the box, and Wegerly took the ball away from behind. There's a steal by Rudy. Shot just wide to the right side. Ball with a rebound. Clears it in the goal area for Mauser. Outlet, red line on the right side to Wegerly. Wegerly across the midfield line. Picked up at the Canton red line by Schlotthauer. Tima is also back on defense. Magic Celestin with a sliding tackle to knock it away. Coming back with it is Mangione for Tampa Bay. Left point area. He's got an open Solomon Hilton right side. He knocked it in the cheap seats. 8.53 to play in the first quarter. No score. Canton and Tampa Bay. Invaders have had one power play opportunity, and the Rowdies just killed that one off. Real good crowd at the Civic Center tonight. We'll get the attendance probably in the second half. Again, the second and third quarter tonight, we'll have our Lucky Invader fan contest where you send us a postcard and we draw it. You have an opportunity to win dinner for two, a couple of tickets to a future Invaders game. In the second quarter, we'll have a uh, mug from United Bank just for having your card pulled. If you get a goal for the Invaders in that period, then you also win the other prizes. Rudy Pikasinski, and it passes a little short for Kramer. Hilton's got it for Tampa Bay. Now Rowe, David Dodge up the right side across midfield. Canton red line down in the corner. Wanted Mangione. Dodge with a shot blocked by Tima. Hit Kia and Timmy will clear it out. Here comes Magic Celestin up the left side for Camp. Celestin working on Dodge. Ran right by Dodge. Stopped. Wegerly got back on D to help out. Looking for Kramer and Wegerly with a steal for Tampa Bay. Here come the Rowdies. Wegerly, left side of the midfield circle. Celestin's with him. He didn't see Kia from behind. Kia knocked it away, but Kia will get called for the trip. And that's the second foul on the Invaders. One on Tampa Bay, two on Canton. Rowdies have had a two-minute penalty whistled against them. We have 7.58 to play in the first quarter and no score. Ruben Astigaraga for uh, Tampa Bay drops it back to Tony Frankovic. Now in the goal area for Mauser. Mauser outlet for Ted Power. Power and Kia up the right side. Power looking for Fall. He's got Fall. He shoots. Good save by Swanner. Schlotthauer, you got Kramer on the breakaway. Artie up the right side of the floor. Off the boards. Artie with a move. He shoots and a good save by Mauser coming out of the net on that one. And to end action, Mike Fall after the rebound for Power. Kramer slides after him. And he took a dive and got the call. Dave Power might have been within a foot and a half of Kramer's uh, foot there and he took a dive and got the tripping call. Here's a steal by Tima. Tima got Kia up the right side. He feeds him. Kia up against the boards. Moving in on Frankovich. Now back at the red line to Kondrich. Tomo a couple of steps in looking for Maurer. Maurer with a shot bounces right into the waiting arms of the goalkeeper Mauser. 
outlet red line right side to Weggerly. 7-12 to play in the first period, and we have no score between the Canton Invaders and the Tampa Bay Rowdies. Dave Power, now Tim Walters on the floor for Tampa Bay. Midfield circle to Asta Uraga. Rubin drops it back. Frankovich got a man clearing up the floor. That's Walters. But Pisano beat him there, and Oscar sends it forward, and Walters will get whistled for the obstruction. And the team fouls now stand at two against Tampa Bay and three against the Invaders. Don Tobin will put the ball in play, and then drops it back to Swanner. The Invaders want timeout. 6.51 to play in the first quarter. No score. We'll be back in just a minute. The Canton Invaders would like to welcome and thank our corporate sponsors. Second and third quarters are our lucky quarters tonight. Some nights we'll have uh, more than one. We should have one every game, though. There will be some where we may have two, some we might even have three. 6.51 to play here in this first quarter, and no score right now between the Invaders and the Tampa Bay Rowdies. Jamie Swanner will put the ball in play for Canton. Tim Tima and Walt Schlotthauer on defense. Your forward line, Magic Celestin, Art Kramer, and Rudy Pikasinski. David Dodge and Peter Rowe on defense for Tampa Bay. And up front for the Rowdies, you've got Tim Walters, Solomon Hilton, and Nick Mangione. Jamie Swanner in the arc with it for Canton. And Swanner will come out to the red line. Mangione a couple of steps in. And Jamie dumps it off left side to Schlotthauer. Walter right back to Swanner. Swanner out across the red line. And he'll send it long. Knocked away by Walters. Celestin got it back. It's up in the air. It's out of play. That would be a goal kick for Tampa Bay. Goal kick, Tampa Bay. Next Invader home game is also our next broadcast. The next Friday night, 8.05 kickoff time against the Milwaukee Wave. Former Canton assistant coach John Delinsky is now a member of the Milwaukee contingent. He'll be back here. Had a homecoming every, every game so far with former Invaders. Uh, Klaus DeBoer last week. Here comes Kramer in a foot race up the left side. Ball knocked away by Rowe. Rudy couldn't get it, and it comes down. It's past Solomon Hilton, and Schlotthauer steers it around the curve into the waiting hands of Jamie Swanner. I say we had Steve Savage this week, Delinsky next week. We had DeBoer last week, the exhibition game with Fort Wayne. We had Killingsworth. A lot of former Invaders around the league. Solomon Hilton, former Columbus Capital with it at midfield, and dumps it down for Mangione, but it's knocked away by another former Columbus player, Magic Celestin. Mangione gets it back up the right side, retreats to the red line, back to the midfield area. Peter Rowe. Right side against Art Kramer. Kramer with a block. Rowe got the ball back to Mangione. Mangione merrily knocked it out of play. Goal kick invaders with 5.42 to play. In the first quarter, no score here at the Civic Center. Canton and Tampa Bay. Invaders have had one power play opportunity, which went for naught. Team fouls at three for Canton and two for Tampa Bay. Both teams will use the timeout to change lines. The Canton forward line now, Don Tobin, Steve Maurer, and Kia with uh, Tom Kondrich and Oscar Pisano on defense. It's Ruben Astigaraga, Mike Fall, and Steve Wegerly for Tampa Bay. And the defenders are Tony Frankovich and Dave Power. Jamie Swanner scoops the ball up. A lead ball for Maurer. Maurer dumps it on the right side for Kia. Kia back to the net. Had it deflected out of a double team and got it back at midfield to Pisano. Oscar Maurer working in the left point area. Back to Kia. Kia Frankovic with a deflection, and Pisano flags it down at midfield. Tampa Bay does play a deliberate, kind of conservative style of defense. Kia trying to get inside. Frankovic does. Frankovic grabs him, no call. They center for Maurer. It's knocked away by Paul. Kia with a shot, hit the post. And Maurer got it back in the corner. They set it up again. Maurer looking for a feed. Up against the right boards. It comes back out to midfield to Pisano. Oscar will back it up. They'd like to spread this Tampa Bay defense out just a little bit. Give themselves some more room. Maurer working back to the net against Fall on the right side. Now turns, faces the net. And Condridge clearing up the middle. He shoots. It hit the crossbar. Kia shoots and scores! <laughs> Kia got the rebound and put it in. Condridge will get the assist. The Invaders lead one to nothing. the goal 10-13 for Kia it's his second goal of the year for Kondrich his first point and the invaders draw first blood they lead one to nothing and Canton immediately controls the kickoff Pisano tried to get it ahead to Kia but it's knocked away there 
by Frankovic. Now Astagaraga. Frankovic in the corner working against uh, Rudy. That's Kia, I'm sorry. And now Astagaraga. Air ball knocked away by Tobin with a head. And Steve Maurer controls for the Invaders. Maurer, another St. Louis product, seeing his first playing time of the year. Now he steps off and the Kramer line comes on. Looking for Pikasinski. Rudy in the corner trying to get around power. And he dumps it out on the red line. And now Tobin with it controls back to midfield in the goal area for Swanner. Swanner knocks it away from Wegerly. Mangione all over the back of Walt Schlotthauer. And that'll be the third foul on Tampa Bay. And the team fouls are even now at three apiece. Schlotthauer shakes a few cobwebs up as he gets out from that one. But I think Walter will be all right. He'll be our halftime guest tonight. Talking about the trip he and Jamie Swanner will take to Hungary next week. Actually, they leave tomorrow to play on the U.S. national indoor team. Here comes Swanner out of his own area. He gets around one, had the ball knocked away. But Schlotthauer clears, and he knocked it out of play. A couple of the Tampa Bay players wanted a delay call, but that was close enough to being in. I think Walter thought he had a chance to keep that ball in play. Walters will put it in for the Rowdies. 3.50 to play in the first quarter. Canton leads 1-0 on the goal by Kia at 10.13, and the Tom Codrich assist. Tobin steps off, and the magic man, Celestin, is in, completing the line change. Kramer, Pikasinski, and Celestin up front. Tima and Schlotthauer on defense for the Invaders. Walters dumps it in. Mangione, Swanner out of the net, sliding play to take the ball away. Walters ended up against the boards. Magic clears to Kramer. Kramer trying to get around Dodge. He'll drop it back to Timmy Tiemann. Tiemann, Hilton out of position, got it away to Celestin. And Celestin backs it up to Tiemann at the Canton red line. Bad pass taken away by Mangione. Mangione on the attack for Tampa Bay. Dumps it to Hilton. Hilton with a shot into the stage and out of play. The Rowdies have been a little bit over anxious when they get in the Canton end, and they've sailed a few right over the glass. 324 to play in the first period. Invaders won, and Tampa Bay nothing. Swanner looking, looking long, and he'll put the ball on the floor now and send it ahead for Rudy. Rudy trying to get around Rowe with a push, and they could have almost given him two because I think Rudy's got a breakaway if Rowe doesn't commit the foul there. That's the fourth foul on Tampa Bay. they got to be a little careful now with 314 left in the period. Schlotthauer will put the ball in play from touchline left side between the Tampa Bay red line and the midfield stripe. Dumps it long for Rudy in the corner. Rudy trying to get around Rowe, and it's way up in the air, and Rudy steps inside looking for Kramer. He scores! Rudy headed the ball to Kramer. Kramer headed it in the net. Pretty play. Put that one on the highlight film. It's two to nothing. Time of the goal, 11.54. For Art Kramer, his third goal of the season. It's the first assist of the year for Rudy Pikasinski. He had a couple of goals in the opening game against Tampa Bay. You can't use your hands, but you sure can use your head, and those two guys just showed how to do it. They put on a clinic. That pass from Rudy off the head, and Kramer headed it right in the net. Mauser didn't have a chance. 2-0 Invaders. Schlotthauer in the corner, trying to get around Mangione. Mangione with a steal, but it comes out to Celestin. Magic Man, they want more speeds, and Kramer, Rudy got held, but he got a handball before that. And now the one referee called it one way, and the other one... Okay, this guy pointed that way, but I guess we'll go toward Tampa Bay. Here's Tima with good defensive position, knocked the ball away from Walters, and Fall got a piece of it to knock it out of bounds. 2.38 to play in the first quarter. Canton 2, Tampa Bay nothing. Kia and Kramer with the two goals for the Invaders. That was a pretty goal that Kramer got from Rudy. Kramer headed it in off the head pass by Pikasinski. And you just don't do it a whole lot prettier than that one was. 1480 WHBC Canton, radio home of the Invaders. Long lead ball for Swanner. And Fall knocked that one out of play. And we'll put it in again. That took a few ticks off the clock. 2.31 to play in period one. Condrich sends it ahead for Steve Maurer. Maurer off his chest. Got around power off the right side boards for Tobin. Tobin trying to put a move on Fall. Spins. Fall loses his balance. Toby gets it over to Maurer. Maurer will back it up at the Canton red line to Oscar Pisano. Pisano right side. Now left side to Condrich. Tomo. And the ball knocked away by Frankovich. 
Kia started to break to the net, wasn't expecting the pass. Here's a shot and score by Steve Wegerly, and Tampa Bay is on the board. Time of that goal at 12.51. Wegerly will get the goal. His fourth is fourth of the season, and Frankovic picks up uh, assist number one. And now it is a two to one game, so Tampa Bay serving notice that they're not quite ready to roll over and die just yet. Canton two, Tampa Bay one. That was also a pretty feed. Found the open man, and uh, Wegerly knows what to do with the ball when he has it open. Here's Kia. Kia to Tobin. They got Maurer working against Power down on the side. Maurer, bigger, stronger player. And Kondrich winds and fires, and that one almost picked somebody off in the front row in the balcony, and it'll be a goal kick for Tampa Bay. 152 to play in the first period. Invaders two, Rowdies one. Arnie Mazur, fine goalkeeper for Tampa Bay to put the ball in play. These may be, along with Petroni, probably the three best goalkeepers in the league. These two and Petroni, I would think. Minute 52 to play in the first period. Canton two and Tampa Bay one. And Kramer was uh, diving in to try to pick off the goal kick and uh, referee said uh, let's restrain ourselves a little Artie and try that one again. Over to Rowe. Rowe back to the keeper Mauser. Mauser's still in the box. He'll pick it up. Minute 45 in the quarter. Long lead and Schlotthauer got away from Celestin and picked it off. Invaders on the attack. Slothauer shot blocked by a row. Here comes the Magic Man. Here comes Hilton with the Magic Man. And Celeste knocked it away. Hilton got it back. And he was picked up now by Schlotthauer. Right side at the red line. Hilton tried to send it in for Walters. And Tima clears that. Yeah, couldn't quite get it to Rudy. Rudy bounces it off the boards and clears to Kramer. Kramer got row. Kramer and Rowe on the run. Dodge to pick him up. Tried to get Rudy. And he almost got that around Dodge in. But it was picked away by the goalkeeper, Mauser. Minute 10 to play first quarter. Tima tried to get the ball away, knocked away, and taken by Mangione for Tampa Bay. Mangione dumps it in. Swanner out of the box will clear to Art Kramer. Up in the air around the right side, and it'll take a bounce and go over the glass and into section 15. Kick in for Tampa Bay from the touchline left side, maybe about four feet inside the red line. Celestin will drop it back at midfield to Rowe. Rowe, a couple of steps in, looking down in the corner for Hilton. Hilton shot wide and high, and Pikasinski will control the rebound, and Tampa Bay retreats. Here they come to Celestin. Celestin's got Kramer clear into his right. Magic fires and hit it just wide. He had Mauser beat, but it was just a little bit wide to the right side. Hilton sends it forward for Rowe. Rowe picked up by Celestin in the Canton end. He is looking for Walters in the corner. Walters had the ball knocked away by Kramer in Tima controls. Timmy Tima, first team all-star defender last year. Celestin, long lead, Kramer, but it's a three-line violation with 16 seconds to play in the first quarter. And the Rowdies will put it in play from the Canton red line. Ruben Astigaraga and Mike Fall standing on the spot. Now Fall clears in. Astigaraga looking for Fall. He's working against Schlotthauer. Tries to center. Astigaraga had it blocked, and he got a shot off anyway. Eight seconds. And the rebound comes out to midfield. Power dumping it down for Walters. Walters working against Tima. Back to the net, and they get the centering pass for Fall, but the quarter ends. We've played 15 minutes at the end of the first quarter. The score, the Canton Invaders 2, and the Tampa Bay Rowdies 1. Once again, we'd like to thank John Anderson's flower shop for tonight's carnations. They're located at 413 12th Street Northwest, also at Alton Hospital, and at 4866 Everhard Road Northwest. John Anderson the second quarter. Front line, Kia and Maurer the forwards, Tobin at midfield with Kondrich and Pisano on defense. For Tampa Bay, Astigaraga, Wegerly, and Fall up front. And you'll have Power and uh, Frankovic on defense. And we'll redo the kickoff. Two to one, Canton. They led two to nothing at one point before Wegerly got Tampa Bay back within a goal late in the first quarter. Kia and Maurer in the midfield circle, ready to put the ball in play. 
And Kia will drop it back to Tobin. Tobin looking for Maurer. Maurer trying to get away from Power in the corner, working back to the net. Maurer turns, looks, he shoots, and ball mishandled by Mauser, but he's able to get a hold of it before anybody could get to the rebound. Outlet comes to Power, left side, right side at the red line. Power, midfield. This is Astigaraga working against Oscar Pisano, a couple of wily veterans there. Kondrich trying to knock the ball away. Here's Tomo with a steal. Kondrich had it taken away again from behind by Frankovich. Steers it into the keeper, Mauser. Long lead for Fall. Fall at the red line. Back it up to midfield to Power. And Power sends it ahead for Astigaraga. Rubin off the left sideboards for Fall. Fall couldn't get around Mauser, but Mauser will get whistled for obstruction. Rather, Mauer. Mauser's the goalkeeper. Mauer plays for Canton. First foul of the second quarter. Nobody whistled for six fouls in the first period, although there was a two-minute unsportsmanlike conduct penalty on Tampa Bay. Swanner controls in the goal area. Long lead for Kia. Kia trying to get around Frankovich. Kia up the right side. And he'll turn and try to back it away to Maurer. Got to around Frankovich, and it's out to Tobin now at the red line. Tobin to Pisano. Pisano at the Canton red line against Astigaraga. And back in the arc for the goalkeeper, Jamie Swanner. Swanner, a couple of steps forward. Now he'll cross the red line and send it long for Maurer. Maurer back to the net against Power. And back out on the right point to Tobin. Tobin back to Maurer against the boards. Maurer trying to work inside, and he's double teamed as Fall comes over, and they get it ahead to Astigaraga. Astigaraga, midfield, got Fall clearing, open up the left side. He shoots, Astigaraga scores! Swanner had no chance. Off the wall, Swanner could not get it. Astigaraga scores, Fall will get the assist, and we're tied at 2-2, time of the goal, 129. Astigaraga gets goal number five on the season, and for Fall, it's his fourth assist. And all of a sudden, we are tied up at 2-2. After the Invaders had led 2-0, Tampa Bay has come back with two straight goals of their own. Pekosinski drops the kickoff back to Celeste, now ahead to Rudy. Rudy trying to get around Dodge, does. Referee got in the way, and that allowed uh, Rowe to clear it out. Invaders will kick it in, touchline right side. 13-21 to play in the first half, and we're tied up at 2-2. Tim Tiemann to put the ball in play for Canton, down in the corner for Rudy. Rudy back to the net, back to Tima. He shoots, and Mauser comes up with a save. Outlet short on the right side. Coming up the floor is Rowe for Tampa Bay. Rowe with a long range shot, and Walters couldn't get to the rebound. And Celestin comes up with it for Canton. The Invaders will attack two on two. Celestin with Rudy. Magic turns. Rowe went down. Magic with a shot. And it's loose out front. Rudy couldn't find the ball. That allowed Dodge to clear it out to the red line. And it's Walters with it for Tampa Bay. Walters across the Canton red line. Schlotthauer with a sliding play to knock it loose. Here comes Celestin through the midfield circle. Invaders attack four on three. Schlotthauer winds and fires. Pekosinski couldn't get the rebound. He got hauled down by Rowe. No call in front of the net. Rowe grabbed him by the shoulder and ripped him down, and there was no call. That should have been a penalty shot. But they do not get it. 12.28 to play, and the ball goes out of play. It'll be put in from the right side at midfield. Astigaraga to put the ball in for Tampa Bay. Game is tied at 2-2. And the Rowdies get things going. Power with it. Back to Rubin. Astigaraga right side at midfield. Sends it ahead for Fall. Fall in the corner working against Tobin. Wall pass. Nobody home out front for the Rowdies. Pisano trying to get around Astigaraga does. Oscar around one, around two. Pushes it ahead for Maurer. Maurer long range shot. Rebound. Kia shot blocked out front. On a good defensive play by Frankovich, it's cleared back to midfield, and Tobin sends it ahead for Pisano. Oscar right point, shot blocked by Frankovich again. Oscar trying to get the rebound, and we got a whistle, and Oscar will get whistled for pushing off after Frankovich. Or did they call it the other way? Now they call it on Ken. Two fouls on the Invaders, and one on the Rowdies. Rather, none on the Rowdies in this quarter. Working in the corner with it is Power. And now Maurer able to head it out to the midfield area. 
They dump it back in. Condridge clears out. And it's Pisano. Ball blocked by Fall. Oscar trying to get around him does. And he's picked up by Weggerly. Oscar with a good move off the right side, left side boards for Maurer. Maurer clearing it to the midfield circle. And Steve Maurer still with the ball for Canton. Sends it ahead for Kia. Centering pass knocked away by Ostigaraga. They are looking for Tobin out front. And Ostigaraga within a corner. Steers it in the goal area for Mauser. Outlet on the right, uh, left side. It comes to Mike Fall. Mike Fall. Working against Don Tobin to Ostigaraga. Right side at the red line. 11 minutes to play in the first half. The game is tied 2-2. Canton led 2-0 at one point. Tampa Bay's come back to tie it. Power, bad pass. He didn't realize the man he was passing it to was going to the bench. Kia gets it to, to uh, Tima and out of Tobin. And back to Timmy Tima. Tima forward for Kramer. And it's into the corner. Pikasinski and Rowe in a race for it there. And now Mangione into double team. Mangione comes away with the ball, pushes it ahead to Weggerly. Rowdy's attack three on three. And Celestin steers it away. It's loose. And Magic, I think, got away with a little push in the penalty area that time. Now Tima comes away with it. Here come the invaders. Four on two. Tima looking for a feed. He shoots, and Mauser comes up with a save and just corrals the rebound before Rudy arrived on the scene. Here comes Ostigaraga the other way. Lead ball for Mangione too far. Celestin knocks the pass out of play. Out to the red line. Dodge trying to get it over to Power. And now Dodge. Dodge with it in the left point area. Kramer over to confront him. They dump it back to midfield. And Walters clears back to the Tampa Bay red line for Peter Rowe. 9.53 to play in the first half. Canton 2, Tampa Bay 2. Solomon Hilton. Middle of the floor at the red line. Schlotthauer with a deflection. Rudy got it again. Magic trying to clear. Dumps it over Hilton. Magic gets it back. Ahead it comes to Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer for Rudy. Rudy had gotten behind his man, but the ball was late. And it's cleared back into the goal area where Mauser controls. Rowe with it out in front. Kramer applying pressure on him. And they dump it over to Walters. Walters right side at midfield. Sends it ahead, but Tima heads it back. Here come the invaders on the attack. Rudy trying to get around Rowe out of a double team, and it's taken away from behind by Walters. They just dump it to midfield. Tima will keep the pressure on ahead to Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer winds and fires, and it's up against the right post where Mauser punches that one into the corner. 9.06 to play in the first half. Fall with it, left side at midfield, back to Rowe inside his own red line. Tampa Bay scored two straight to tie it at 2-2 after the Invaders built an early 2-0 lead. Solomon Hilton in the Canton end, right corner, back to the net against Tima. Back out to midfield to Mike Fall. Mike Fall left side to Power. Power unmarked to the point. Now Toby over. Tima heads it out. Knocked it right to Hilton. Hilton shot. Score! And the goal will go to Tim Walters. Tampa Bay scored three in a row. Walters from Hilton. And the Rowdies lead three to two. Tampa Bay with their first lead of the night. Walters has goal number five on the season. Hilton picks up his second assist. Time of the goal, 6-18. And after the Invaders, it jumped out two to nothing. Tampa Bay has pumped three straight into the back of the Invader net, and they now lead three to two. First time this season the Invaders have been behind. Condridge sends it ahead for Maurer. Maurer trying to get around uh, Power. And a pass is deflected, but Kia got it, and he hit it in the stage. Well, Kia got a little over-anxious and got under that just a bit. And it'll be a goal kick for Tampa Bay. Eight and a half minutes to play in the first half. Tampa Bay three, Canton two. Mauser, goal kick over to Power and back to Mauser. He'll pick the ball up in the penalty area. And the long lead is knocked away by Maurer, but Frankovich got it back for Tampa Bay. Frankovich back to Mike Fall inside his own red line. Now Fall comes up against Tobin, sends it long. Frankovich is clearing the ball is too far. And Swanner controls for Canton. Now Tobin at the red line, looking for Kia off his head. Kia knocked it away from Astigaraga. Pisano controls for the Invaders. Pisano right up the middle of the floor, trying to get around Fall, does into the corner. Kramer, Tobin shot Kia with a deflection, and it was saved by Mauser. Mauser lying down on the ground after the initial shot. Ostigaraga, Power gets away with a push as he decked Kondrich. Are they going to call? Oh, they called obstruction on Kondrich. That's a, that is a bad call. When the guy takes both hands and pushes off to knock the man to the ground, I'm sorry, folks, that's not obstruction. 
That's a blown call is what you call it. Wegerly in the corner trying to get around Condrich. Does. Condrich got his ball away from behind. Here come the invaders. On the attack, Condrich through midfield. Feeds Tobin on the left side. Tobin working against Ostigaraga. He's got Maurer, and it hit him off the back of the heel. Maurer couldn't control. Frankovich coming the other way. Knocked away from behind by Maurer. And Condrich trying to get around Wegerly and now has to retreat and drops it back to Tobin. Now in the invader goal area for Swanner. Ahead midfield to Pisano. Oscar around the Ostigaraga at the red line. Around Fall. Fall got a sliding play to knock it loose. And Tampa Bay controls. 7.04 to play in the first half. Tampa Bay 3, Canton 2. Here comes Ostigaraga. He's got a man wide open. It's uh, power, and he just missed it wide to the left side. Swanner cut down the angle pretty well. That was about all power had to work with. And Jamie controls in the goal area. 6.49 in the period. Tobin out across the Canton red line. Ahead to Pikasinski. Rudy back to Toby in the midfield circle. Now on the right side, it comes to Kondrich. Tomo trying to get around Hilton does. Tomo sends it long. Dodge couldn't get it. Kramer gets it for, for Canton. Tried to center for Rudy. Knocked away by Walters off the chest of Celestin, and he'll back it out to midfield to Kondrich. Ahead to Magic. Magic got inside Mangione. Dodge confronts him in the corner. Magic will come back outside with it. Celestin, couple of steps in, trying to get around Dodge. Dodge slides, knocks it away. Mauser kicks it in the corner. Dodge will control it there and knocked it away from Kramer. And Schlotthauer will flag it down at the Canton Red Line. 6-10 in the first half. 1480 WHBC, Canton, Ohio. No invader goals yet in the period, so we don't have a contest winner yet. Unfortunately, Tampa Bay has scored two. Pikasinski got pushed twice by Rowe. Neither one of them got called. Celestin coming the other way for Tampa Bay. Feeds it up. You've got uh, Mangione, and it's knocked away in a good play by Magic. To steer it in the goal area for Swanner. Long lead for Celestin. Midfield left side. End-to-end -end action. Celestin around one. Leaves it for Kramer. Kramer wants to fire. Feeds Magic. He shoots. Mauser comes up with a save up against the post. Ahead it comes to Walters. Five and a half minutes to play in the quarter. Walters around Kramer. Tima deflected away from him. And Schlotthauer spins around one, around two. And the Invaders back on the attack. Tobin off the bench, coming up the left side. Toby takes a feed in the corner. Pikasinski scores! Pikasinski ties the game. On a nifty feed from Don Tobin. Toby's third assist of the year for Rudy. It's his third goal. Time of the goal, 9.43. The Invaders tie at 3-3, and in doing so, they make a winner out of Richard McLean of Massillon. Richard, you win the two tickets to a future Invaders game, and also dinner for two at the Red Bull Inn. We'll get those to you. We'll get a hold of you this week. Again, we'll have another contest quarter in the third period. And we'll remind you again at halftime how you can enter that. But more importantly, right now, the Invaders have tied the game again at 3-3. Tampa Bay trying to come back. Fasano deflects it, and it's cleared out by Tobin. Wegerly with it at the Tampa Bay red line. Now Power right side at midfield. Power sending it long. Ostigaraga heads it in front. Nobody there but Tobin for Canton. Outlet, midfield line. It could have been a handball on Frankovich, but Maurer comes through anyway. Here comes Tobin through the midfield circle. Toby, wall pass, knocked away by Wegerly, but Maurer got it back. Kia in a fight for it there, and it's cleared out uh, to the point area, and Fall gets it there, and Wegerly, around one, around two, lost the ball, got it in front of him, and that allowed Tima to clear it back in the end. There's a steal by Kia, and Kia working on the left side, comes out of the corner with it. Kia looks, shoots, blocked by Frankovich. Kia got it back out front, and on the right point, it comes to Kondrich. Kondrich looking inside, and they couldn't quite get it to Maurer. He was screened pretty well by Frankovich. Mauser controlled on the play. 4-10 to play in the period. We're tied. Here comes Wegerly. Shot and kick save Swanner in a beauty. And it's Tobin with it in the corner. Sends it ahead for Maurer. Steve Maurer through the midfield circle. Trying to get away from Wegerly. Spins and finds Tobin on the right side at the Tampa Bay red line. Toby looking for an open Rudy. Rudy lost the ball. He shoots, hit the crossbar, and it went over the glass and out of play. Rudy kind of tripped on the ball a little and couldn't quite get control to fire the shot right away. And then when he did, he had to get it high to try to get it around the keeper, Mauser, who by that time had gotten into position. And it's a goal kick for the Rowdies. 3.46 to play in the first half. 
And we're tied at 3-3. And Richard McLean of Nile Street Massillon is our second quarter winner. Again, we'll have another contest in the third quarter tonight. If you want to enter that, the address for next week, Lucky Invader Fan, WHBC Radio, P.O. Box 9917, Canton, Ohio, 44711. Rowe with it off the goal kick, back to Mauser. Tampa Bay goalie, long lead ball for Walters. Walters against Tima. And Walters tries to get inside, and Tima will get whistled for obstruction. That's the fourth foul on the Invaders, and Tampa Bay has yet to be whistled for a foul in this second quarter. They've committed about three, maybe four, but they haven't gotten called for one yet. Rowe to put the ball in play. Celestin heads it into the corner, and it goes over the glass and out of play. Tampa Bay will kick it in in the invader end in the left corner. Solomon Hilton will handle that chore. 3.35 to play in the first half. Dodge clears in. They drop it back to Rowe. His wall pass is wide. Dodge had to steer away from Kramer. Pekosinski with a near steal. Kramer almost got it. And now Tima does for Canton. And Tima will roll it in the goal area for Swanner, and he'll send it in to an unmarked Schlotthauer up the left side at midfield. 3.17 to play in the first half, tied at three. Kramer, red line, leaves it for Magic. Celestin around a pick, looking for a shot. He shoots, and Kramer couldn't get the rebound. He was screened away by Walters. Schlotthauer has it out front. He gets it to Rudy. Rudy tried to steer it in for Artie, and it was deflected again by Walters, and Mangione clears to midfield, and Tima gets it at the Canton red line. And Timmy will let it roll in the invader end. It'll come around the curve, and Swanner dumps it ahead for Tim. And now Magic Celestin, 2.46 to play in the first half. Celestin, right side midfield for Tima. Ball knocked away by Hilton, and Hilton couldn't control, and it comes back into Swanner. Swanner, long lead, and it's into the crowd, up into section 15. And we'll do it again with 2.35 left in the first half in what has been end-to-end -end action. We're tied up at 3-3. Kia Kramer and Rudy Pikasinski have scored for Canton. Wegerly, Astigaraga, and Walters have scored for Tampa Bay. And those have been the three guys that have been doing the scoring all year for the Rowdies. We'll elaborate on that when we get time in a minute. Here comes Schlotthauer up the left side. Schlotthauer through the midfield circle. Now pushes it right side to uh, Celestin. Celestin, good save by Mauser. Magic didn't get a lot on that, but the location was perfect. Here's Tima with a steal from Hilton. Hilton grabbed him from behind, and they, of course they call it on Tima. Five fouls on Canton. Hilton is still down. Swanner controls in there, and the Invaders' next foul will put him in the penalty. Tima was getting held, and they called him for tripping. Tima dumps it back in the goal area. Frankly, the officiating has been horrible in the second quarter. It wasn't bad in the first quarter, but it stinks this quarter. Pikasinski trying to get around his man. Frankovich knocked the ball away, but Kondrich got it back. It's in. It's loose, and Rudy couldn't get it. It was deflected. Mauser takes Rudy down in the crease, and it goes out of play, and the Invaders will put it in. 141 to play. Tampa Bay had scored 13 goals on the year coming into this game. Wegerly, Astigaraga, and Walters had 11 of them in the first three games. And they have all three for Tampa Bay tonight. That's where their scoring has been coming from. Now, the assists, Fall has four, and Mangione has a couple. So those two guys have been getting a, mo a lot of the assists, and the other guys have been getting the lion's share of the goals. Now they're going to give it to Tampa Bay. Astigaraga dumps it back to Fall in the goal area for uh, Mauser. Minute 34 in the first half, tied up at 3-3. Long lead, and Maurer picks that away and gets it ahead for Pisano. Pisano, midfield circle for Canton. Beautiful pass for Kia. He whiffed on the shot. And Mauser, long lead for Astigaraga up the left side. Pisano wins a the race there and dumps it in the goal area. And Swanner knocks it out of play, and he's going to get two minutes for delay of game. And that one there wasn't much question about. I don't know what Jamie was doing. Tampa Bay will go on their first power play on the year. They've scored on two of nine for 22.2%. Invaders have not given up a power play goal yet in two tries against Toledo. Do not know exactly what Jamie was thinking of there. As he just dumped that right in, and there's... <laughs> you can't question that one. Time of the uh, penalty will be 13.45. 
Swanner for delay of game. And Rudy Pikasinski will serve it. Tampa Bay will have a minute 15 left in this period of power play, and then they would have another 45 seconds at the start of the third quarter if they don't score here. Canton shorthanded team, Steve Frick, Tom Condrich, Art Kramer, and Tim Tima. And the power play unit for Tampa Bay, Mike Fall, Solomon Hilton, Tim Walters, Ruben Astigaraga, and Steve Wegerly. Minute 15 to play in the first half. We're tied at 3-3. Tampa Bay on the power play. Mike Fall, middle, field, middle of the floor. Astigaraga, shot blocked by Condrich. Rebound loose, and Tima with a beautiful sweeping move to knock that to midfield. Swanner could not control the rebound. It squirted away, and Tima, who was already on his knees, able to swing a leg out and sweep that ball away. 59 seconds to go in the half. Hilton in the corner, centering pass. No, headed away by Kramer, and off the knee of Frick, and out to midfield, and back to the Tampa Bay red line. Falls got it there. 46 seconds in the half. Mike Fall. Across the red line, Hilton, right side, in the corner. Now they back it out front to Fall. Fall feeds Astigaraga, shot saved by Swanner. And Power tries to center, and it's to Hilton at the red line, and back out to Fall at midfield. 28 seconds to play in the half. Hilton with a shot, that one's in the crowd. 26 seconds left, goal kick for the Invaders. A minute 10 left of the penalty. So Canton. The victim of the penalty killing unit when Tampa Bay had the penalty trying to kill one off themselves. And if they kill off this part, the Rowdies will still have 45 seconds in the third quarter. Frick with a spinning move around Celestin. Knocked away, and Mauser controls. 17 seconds. Astigaraga at the Canton red line, left side. Couple of steps in. Frick picked him clean. And Frick will dump it around the boards. Tima shields Astigaraga away. Swanner controls. Six seconds, five seconds. Steve Frick at the red line, 3-2-1, and that's the end of the first half. With a score, the Canton Invaders 3 and the Tampa Bay Rowdies 3. We'll be back in a moment. United Bank's personal reserve. The Canton Invaders would like to thank the following group for tonight's attendance. The postponing that elbow surgery. He's got some bone chips in that left elbow, and he will have that, I guess, when he gets back from Hungary. Not a real serious injury. They had told us that if, uh, if he had had that surgery next Monday as planned, he would have been... He hasn't come out on the floor. Yeah, Fricky's in the doorway now. He'll come out. Trevor Dawkins, who saw a lot of playing time last week, is in uniform tonight, but he has not set foot on the floor tonight other than walking to the bench and back to the locker room in the first half. We'll see if Trevor tries to take control of anything himself here in this third quarter. Game is tied at 3-3. Kia Kramer and Pikasinski have scored for Canton. Wegerly, Astigaraga, and Walters have scored for Tampa Bay. Here with 1480 WHBC, Canton, Ohio, radio home of the Invaders. And the Rowdies will start the third quarter on the power play. And our lucky Invader fan contestant this quarter is Anna Peters of Westwood Street Southwest in Massillon. She has won the T-shirt, and she is now playing for the dinners and the Invader tickets. Here comes Tampa Bay on the power play. Walters right side across the red line. Middle of the red line now to Mike Fall. Hilton. Right side of the floor, back to fall. A couple of steps in closer. Now Hilton. Hilton shot blocked by Tima. And Walters shot blocked by Condrich. And it squirts weakly in the goal area. Swanner pounces on it there and tries to get it to Frick. Frick trying to work on Hilton. Fricky trying to get inside the boards. Got around the double team. And Frick still controls. Back to Condrich. Right there is why Steve Frick may be the best man down player in the league. He burns up so much time keeping the ball out of the possession of the other team. There he goes again. Frick got around two guys. Spins away from Wegerly. We're down to two seconds. One, and the penalty is over. The Invaders have killed it off. And Swanner sends it long for Pikasinski, who just stepped out of the penalty box. 
Rudy off the boards for Tima. Tima had it knocked away by Ostigaraga, deflected by Rudy. Swanner out of the net to clear. Ostigaraga got it back, but he got it away from him a little. Kondrich ahead. Ball is too far for Kramer. And Mauser will knock it away. Kramer goes sprawling down in front of the net. And here comes Prankovic up the left side of the floor for Tampa Bay. Rowdy's on the attack, four on three. Into the game is McEwen for the first time for Tampa Bay, and he dumps it down in the corner. Wegerly can't get it there. Frankovich clears it out to midfield to power. And Duncan McEwen. This is his first action of the season for Tampa Bay. And McEwen dumps it over to Mangione at the red line. Now back right side at midfield to McEwen. McEwen into the red line. Celestin picks him up, and he knocks it in the stage. Not what you would call your basic high percentage shot, about four feet inside the red line, and he just let it fly. If you have a foot the caliber of a Walt Schlothauer, you can do that. I don't know that McEwen does. I haven't seen him play. It did not appear so on that shot. 13 minutes, 22 seconds to play in the third period. The Canton Invaders three, the Tampa Bay Rowdies three. I'd like to welcome our cohorts from Tampa Bay on the far side. Their radio guys are here. Good to see you, gentlemen. 3-3 is our score, Invaders and the Rowdies. What might be the two top teams in the AISA this season, and they're playing like it. Right now, both teams have played very well. Rudy Pikasinski dishes back. Red line of Tampa Bay to Magic Celestin. Celestin on the point. Schlotthauer winds and fires, and that one almost nailed somebody in Section 9 right behind the net. That young lady had nightmares about that one. If there's anybody you don't want to have shoot the ball at you, it would probably be Walter. And he got all of that. Uh, everybody's okay in the stands. We're glad for that. It's a goal kick for Tampa Bay. Mauser with it in the goal area. And Arnie will pick it up. Long lead ball. It's too far for Dodge. And takes a hop. Rudy able to get it to Kramer. Kramer left side at midfield. Invaders on the attack. Rowdy's back on D. Kramer winds, fires. It's wide. Rebound comes out to Celestin, the Magic man out of a double team. And a nice sliding play there by Mangione to knock it away from Magic. Tima sends it in for Rudy. It's headed out of play by Rowe. And Canton will put it in play. Mauser didn't like that. I think he wanted Rowe to let him field that. But instead, the Invaders will put it in play. Touch line left side in the Tampa Bay defensive end. We've had no scoring in the second half so far. Canton three, Tampa Bay three. Schlotthauer outside the red line. Tima trying to get it into Rudy. Rowe knocked it away, but Schlotthauer gets it back in the left point for Canton, back in the midfield circle. Celestin trying to get around Mangione, but he clears to Hilton. Knocked away, and Tima gets it. Tima's got Schlotthauer up the left side. If he can get Rudy, Rudy, beautiful play by Mauser coming out of the net. Rudy had a point-blank shot. Mauser came away and took it away from him. Centering ball, nobody home for the Invaders. It was behind both Kramer and Pikasinski. Walters comes the other way for Tampa. Rowdies will attack three on four. Rowe, centering pass, knocked away, rejected by Schlotthauer. They dump it back out of the red line to Mangione, right point area. Rowdies won a line change, and they get Frankovich on the floor. And drop it back in the midfield area to Peter Rowe. Rowe, left side to Frankovic, and Rowe immediately heads for the bench. Fall and power are out. Ostigaraga, Wegerly, they got the line change done. Fall feeds ahead. Ostigaraga across the red line on the right side. Picked up by Hilton. Now Rudy, they clear. Centering ball knocked away by Tima. Tima trying to control, and he finds Rudy open up the right side. Pikasinski across the midfield stripe. Pikasinski around Fall. Uh, Celestin dumps it back to Rudy. Now the Invaders will change lines on the move. Schlotthauer with it, dishes it back to Pisano. Walter and Rudy head for the bench. Maurer, Tobin, and Kia are back out up front. Kondrich and Pisano on defense. Kia working back to the net out in front of the arc. And back it comes to uh, Tobin, now Pisano, right side at midfield, trying to get around Wegerly. Good pressure applying defensively by Tampa Bay. Back in, the, in front of the arc, it comes to Swanner. Long ball for Kia, and it's over the glass and out of play. Kia climbing up the boards. I think he had visions of trying to head that back in play. But uh, couldn't do it. Tampa Bay with it now. 11-11 to play in the third quarter. No scoring. There's Maurer with a steal. Maurer took the ball away from Powers. Wall pass. And Mauser covers up just before Kia could get there. Frankovic had shielded Kia away, away from the ball defensively. It is Wegerly. Left side at midfield. Trying to get around Pisano. He stops. Kia took him in from behind. Here comes Pisano. Pisano. Wegerly takes him down. He wants the call. And he won't get it. Well, both teams have something to complain about there. And this is one of those where if the referees don't take control of this game, we could have a problem. 
As both teams are getting upset. There's a bad pass taken away by Tobin. He shoots. It's blocked out front. Frankovich and Tobin on the rebound put it out of play. 10.34 left in the third quarter. As Olivia Newton-John would say, the boys are dancing to the tune, and let's get physical in this period so far. We've had no fouls whistled. We've had a couple of bodies on the floor. Each team had one to complain about there, because Canton uh, Magic had kind of run over the man's back, and then coming the other way, Pisano got fouled. They didn't call either one, so it's even up. 10.34 to play in the third quarter. The game is tied at 3-3. Mauser to put the ball in play on the uh, goal kick for Tampa Bay. And he'll dump it over. Well, Rowe had Kramer guarding him, so he sends it long for Mangione. Almost knocked away by Celestin, but here comes Walters. Bad pass, and Tima steers it in the goal area into the waiting hands of Jamie Swanner. Long lead trying to get Kramer at midfield, and he tries to steer it for Rudy. Rudy trying to get behind Dodge. Dodge got a piece of the ball. Kramer over to double team. Here comes Rudy. Rudy to Magic, and Magic had to wait on it. Comes back against the boards. Magic around one. He shoots. He scores! And the Invaders lead 4-3. to three. Magic Celestin, his first goal of the season. Gonna have to check on the assist. It might have been Rudy, but I'm not really sure. Time of the goal, 4.50. Rudy Pikasinski picks up the assist. Pikasinski now has a goal and two assists tonight. And the Invaders lead 4-3. to three. And we've got a steal by Kramer. Here come the invaders on the attack again. Anna Peters, you have won the tickets and the dinners, but we're playing. Celestin gets it to Rudy. Rudy had it knocked away by Rowe. Rowe heads it out for Solomon Hilton. Hilton off his chest. Anna Peters of uh, Westwood and Massillon, you are also a winner. Two tickets to a future invaders game. Dinner for two at the Red Bull Inn. And we've got a holding call coming up against Tampa Bay. That's the first foul on either team here in the third now they called it against Canton. Artie. It was against Artie. That's the first foul on either team in the third period. Invaders lead four to three. Walters out front. He shoots wide. Mangione with a follow, and that one's in the stage. I think you got Artie either on the hold or the trip. But the Invaders get the goal. They make a winner out of Anna Peters. That's the end of our contest for the night. If you want to enter for next week's game against Milwaukee, send a postcard to Lucky Invaders fan, care of WHBC Radio, Post Office Box 9917, Canton, Ohio, 44711. Canton Invaders lead the Tampa Bay Rowdies 4-3. to three. Kia, Kramer, Pekosinski, and Celestin have scored for Canton. Rudy's got a pair of assists to go with the goal. Kondrich and Tobin each have assists for the Invaders. Swanner sends it ahead. Frankovich buried Kia. No call. Weggerly with a shot wide. Ostigaraga gets it back. And a great play by Pisano sliding to knock that ball away from Ruben Ostigaraga. Here comes Kia on the break. Kia trying to get around Frankovich. Ball deflected. Kia got it back around. Fall. He shoots. He scores! Now let's see if Maurer deflected that. I do not know if Maurer deflected that ball in or not. That ball may have been in the net when Maurer touched it. Well, I'm going to have to see if we get a ruling. And you've got a two-minute penalty coming up against Ruben Astigaraga for unsportsmanlike conduct after the goal was scored. They're going to give Maurer the goal and Kia the assist. And Astigaraga is going to sit down. The Invaders lead 5-3, and they're going to go on the power play. Steve Maurer gets his first goal as a professional. Kia picks up his first assist of the season. Time of the goal, 6.03. And the Invaders lead 5-3. And Astigaraga is going to sit down for two minutes. And uh, they're still arguing about it, but... Oh, my. Power, power better watch it. Power better watch it or he's going to get two. As he's uh, harping and screaming. Well, 
let's see what the call is. T Tima doesn't look real happy either. I wonder if they called somebody on Canton, too. I don't think so. It didn't appear like it. Now the referee's coming over. I really do not know what Tampa Bay's complaining about on the goal. Uh, they're trying to claim the goal should be disallowed, but I sure do not see any reason why. There was nothing illegal about that at all. Good pass by Kia. I think it might have been in even if Maurer didn't touch it, but Maurer was there to make sure. Kia passed it in, and Maurer rammed it home from the short side post. Invaders are exchanging high fives. Trevor Dawkins huddling around his club at midfield. We'll have to sort out these penalties. And uh, did they give Tima one, too? I do not know. Tima's not happy about something. I'm going to tell you what. We're going to take a quick break and try to sort this thing out. We'll be back in a minute. Canton 5, Tampa Bay 3. will be on the power play, but they'd rather have the goal, I'm sure. Let's see if we can get a ruling on what the, on what that was. Fall holding on the penalty, but why did they disallow the goal? They whistled the penalty before the goal was scored. Oh, my heavens. <laughs> Time of the penalty, 6.03. Fall gets whistled for holding. The Invaders still scored, but they whistled the penalty before the goal was scored. They take the goal away from Maurer. The Invaders' lead cut back to 4-3. They will go on the power play, though, and have an opportunity to get the goal back. Fall gets whistled for holding at 6.03. And Pisano with a shot quick. No, and Kia put it in the cheap seats. Way up in the corner. A minute 55 left in the penalty. 8.52 to play in the third quarter. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Bad break for Canton on that one. They had the goal up on the board, and Mauser slips on the carpet and got a weak kickoff to midfield. And Tampa Bay trying to kill the penalty. McEwen, Steve Savage with it, and has it knocked away. Power and uh, regularly are your penalty killers. Power play team for Canton. Tobin, Pisano, Schlothauer, Kia, and Pikasinski. Kia in the right corner. Minute 31 left in the power play. Right point to Pisano in the corner. Kia. Kia looking for a feed. He's got Schlothauer. Schlothauer fires. It's blocked by power and flagged down at midfield by Don Tobin. Minute 20 in the penalty. Schlothauer, or rather uh, Pisano to Kia. It's to Oscar and deflected by Rudy and it goes out of play. Goal kick Tampa Bay. 8-10 left in the third quarter. It is 4-3 Canton as they take away what would have been the fifth goal. Mauser sends it long. It's knocked away by Tobin at midfield. Schlothauer steers it back for Pisano. Minute 10 in the penalty. Oscar in the right corner for Kia. Kia back to Pisano on the point. Oscar feeds Tobin. Tobin, one touch right back to Pisano. Pisano in the corner for Kia. Kia centering ball, and Rudy couldn't get all of it, and it's controlled by Mauser. And he'll just dump it long, and Swanner will control it in the invader end with 48 seconds left in the penalty. Mike Fall in the box for Tampa Bay. Pisano, right point. Two steps, three, and Kia feeds, and a shot, and the rebound controlled by Mauser. And the Tampa Bay goalkeeper will just dump it long again. 31 seconds left in the penalty. Here comes Pisano through the midfield circle. 25 seconds in the penalty. Tobin. He'll fire. It's blocked by Steve Savage. And back out the midfield area is Pisano. 
Pisano across the midfield line, 15 seconds in the penalty. Tobin in the left corner. Schlotthauer centering pass. Kia couldn't get to it, has to chase it in the corner. They'll set up again, seven seconds. Tobin at the red line. Toby, couple of steps to the left, now steers right, Pisano, two seconds, he shoots, it's blocked out front, Schlotthauer couldn't get to the rebound, the penalty is over, and here comes Tampa Bay. McEwen working against Pisano, gets around him, and they clear it back out, I think Tampa Bay wants to get the penalty killers off the field, McEwen stays there, Savage hustles off to the bench, so does Wegerly. and Walters is back out, and Dodge is back out for Tampa Bay, now we got Mangione, and Fall comes to the bench. Kondrich in for the Invaders on the right side at midfield to Tima. Canton 0 for 2 in the power play tonight. Tampa Bay is 0 for 1. The Invaders lead 4-3. We have 6.24 to play in the third period. And it goes out of bounds, out of play in the aisle between section 14 and 15. Canton will kick it in from there. That disallowed goal, we hope it's not a big one, but it could be. Fall whistled for holding, and they say they called it before the goal was scored. Tampa Bay certainly did not show any indication that they heard a whistle on that play. Schlotthauer back to Swanner. Jamie will come out, and the Rowdies are backing up. Nobody be beyond their own red line. They're going to let Swanner come out to midfield. He sends it long, and Swanner sent it too long over the glass and out of play. Goal kick for Canton, or rather for Tampa Bay, with 6.03 to play in the period. Invaders four, Rowdies three. Your WHBC Canton, Ohio. Your radio home for Canton Invaders soccer. Mangione, red line on the right side for Tampa Bay. Ahead to Walters. Walters working against Tima in the Invader end. Walters, red line. Celestin comes over to double. They get it back. Hilton steers it over. And Walters working back to the net against Tima on the right side. Bounces it off the boards and back to midfield to Nick Mangione. Mangione sends it in, and Tima trying to get around. Walters can't do it. Walters turns, shoots. It's blocked out front by Schlotthauer. They try to clear, and here comes Celestin with it for Canton. Magic Man ahead to Pikasinski. Rudy back to the net at midfield line. Back to Celestin. Celestin for Rudy. Rudy trying to get around uh, Rowe. Takes him down in the corner. Finds Kramer in the left corner. Kramer working against Dodge there. And Artie backs it out on the left point to Celestin, the magic man, looking for Rudy. Rowe with a sliding play to kick it free. Tima gets it back to Rudy in the right corner. And it's up over the glass and out of play. Rowe, I'm not sure if he hit it last. The Invaders, no, it was hit last by Rudy. And Tampa Bay will put it in play with 5-10 to play in the third quarter. High school football playoffs tomorrow on 1480 AM, 7:10 airtime, 7:30 kickoff as McKinley meets Austin Town Fitch, and on 94 FM, 6:40 airtime, 7 o'clock kickoff as North Canton Hoover plays Youngstown South. 5:10 to play in the third quarter. The Invaders four, Tampa Bay three. Power dumps it in the goal area for Mauser. Arnie Mauser, lead ball on the left side. It's headed up in the air by Wegerly. Lands it right at Kia. Kia off his chest to Maurer. And Maurer drops it back to Oscar Pisano. Pisano, the move around Ostigaraga. Oscar through the midfield circle. He's got Tobin to his right. Feeds Kia. Kia tried to get it back to Oscar. Couldn't do it. And Wegerly will try to clear. No, it's taken away. And Tobin just missed it wide to the right side. Ball back there for uh, Tampa Bay. Another bad pass taken by Tobin. Tobin shoots. Good save by Mauser. And he's able to punch it out. Power steers it back. And the lead pass comes out to Mike Fall, left side at midfield. Fall cuts through the midfield circle, leaves it there for Wegerly. He pushes it to Frankovich on the left side. Frankovich, couple of steps in, now middle of the floor, across the invader red line. Out front, Ostigaraga working back to the net, and it's steered away from Frankovich by Maurer, and Swanner controls for the invaders with 4.14 left in the third period. Oscar Pisano will come out across the invader red line with it, and Tampa Bay backing up on defense. Pisano feeds left side to Tobin. One touch in. Maurer trying to get it there. Leaves it for Kia. And Kia will drop it back at midfield. Edge of the center circle to Pisano. Under four minutes in the period. Maurer trying to get around power. And he's looking for a feed. Couldn't get it there. It was controlled. And you've got a foul against the Invaders on, uh, on Maurer after he was held. Second foul on Canton. Tampa Bay has not had a foul called on him in the last two quarters. Ruben Ostigaraga with it. They had a two-minute penalty on fall, but they have not had your regular old run-of-the-mill foul called on them in the last two quarters. Mind you, this is not to say that they haven't committed in it, lest I be misunderstood. 
Here comes Pisano across the red line. And Bader's on the attack. Oscar working around Mangione. Stops, turns, back to the net in the corner. And Mangione gets whistled for holding. Thank you, Mr. Referee. First foul on Tampa Bay, two on Canton in the period. So the team foul's not a real crucial problem for either club with 321 to play. Corner kick, Canton. Tobin from the right side. Kia, good play by Dodge, sliding to knock that ball away from Kia. And coming up the floor for Tampa Bay is Weggerly. Pisano back on D with Condrich. Weggerly shoots and it goes into the stage. And Weggerly goes sprawling into the corner. It'll be a goal kick for Canton. Three minutes and 12 seconds to play in the third quarter. The Invaders have the only goal of the second half. It belongs to Magic Celestin and the Rudy Pikasinski assist at 4.58 of the period. And the Canton Invaders lead 4-3. Invaders scored two in a row to lead early. Tampa Bay scored three in a row to take a one-goal lead. And then Canton has scored two straight, and they lead by one. And they had a goal disallowed, and the penalty called on Tampa Bay's Mike Fall that would have made it 5-3. Swanner outlet to Schlotthauer. Hilton applying pressure. They get it ahead. Mangione's got it at midfield now for Tampa Bay. Mangione working against Kramer and already able to beat him to the boards and cut him off. They drop it back to Roe Kramer with a steal. Here comes Kramer on the break. He gets around, he shoots, and Mauser comes up with a save. Roe made Kramer move just far enough away that Mauser was able to get out and cut down the angle and already knocked it right into his chest. Tampa has not had a shot on goal in this period yet, we're told. The Invaders have only one goal to show for their dominance. Here's Rudy around one. He tried to get Kramer. It's loose, and Bowser pounces on the ball out front before either one of them could get to it. Bowser long lead taken away at midfield by Schmadauer. Here comes Celeste, knocked away by Dodge, but Walter will get it back. 2.24 to play in the quarter. Schlotthauer for Tima, left side at midfield. Tima working against Mangione. Sends it ahead for Pikasinski. Rudy cuts in on Rowe, drops it back in the front to Celestin. A couple of former Columbus teammates, Celestin and Hilton, looking at each other out there. Schlotthauer in the point, in the corner for Rudy. Centering ball, Kramer's got it. He shoots, it's blocked by Dodge. Tried to get it to Rudy, knocked away. Mauser out of the net, knocks it in. He's going to get the delay of game penalty. No question. Mauser deliberately knocks it out of bounds. They called it on Swanner. Now they'll call it on Mauser. And the Invaders will go back on the power play with a minute 59 left to play in the period. Once again, if you have the seat section 14, row G, seat 17. So Mauser gets two minutes for delay of game. And the Invaders will have their third power play of the night. Oh, he didn't call it. He had the blue card out. He put it away. He had the blue card out, and he put it away. Oh, boy. Thank you, Terry Campbell. There's a shot and a save off the rebound by Mauser. Long lead, and it hits Kondrich in the hand, but they don't call that one. Here comes Kia. Invaders get a break. Kia around one, around two, and a shot blocked by Frankovich. Tobin tries to knock it in, blocked by Paul. They fight for it. Tobin to Kondrich. He shoots no. Rebound. Maurer gets it to Kondrich. Kondrich at the red line. Knocks it away from Ostigaraga. Tomo and Rubin on the run. He'll dump it back to Jamie Swanner. Okay. Tampa Bay got away with one, and Canton just got away with one. And it dumps off the head of Tobin. Here is Maurer with it. Maurer trying to get around Frankovich. Finds Tobin. Middle of the floor. Back to Maurer on the give and go. He shoots in a save by Mauser. Out left, red line, left side to Weggerly, and he runs into Pisano. And Oscar will get the obstruction call. That's the third foul of the period on Camp. I swear, Terry Campbell had the blue card out to call delay of game, and he put it away. Mike Fall working against Tobin. It's knocked away, and Frankovich comes back with it at midfield. Frankovich. Fall, midfield circle. Maurer trying to beat him to the boards, does, but Frankovich knocks it away from him. Right to Tobin. Tobin sends it airborne in the uh, Tampa Bay end, and Mauser will grab it and hold on there. Ahead to Frankovich. 40 seconds to play in the third quarter. Mike Fall up the left side. Looking for Weggerly. Weggerly to fall in the corner. Fall. Shot blocked by Pisano. And 
It's uh, Frankovich at the red line. Round one, around two, sliding play by Tobin. Here they come on the break. They've got Kramer on the breakaway. Kramer shoots, good save. Key on the rebound, score! <laughs> the goal. Kramer will get the assist. The Invaders lead 5-3 to three with 17 seconds to play in the third quarter. Second goal of the night for Kia. His third goal in the season. Kramer picks up the assist. It's his first assist of the season. The Invaders lead 5-3. to three. And there's Pikasinski, knocks it away at midfield to Kramer. Here we go again, 11 seconds. Kramer to an open Celestin, and he knocked it into the crowd with three, eight seconds left in the period. Well, both these teams wanted to figure this game would be a test. I'll tell you what, there are two good soccer teams down there on this field tonight. Four seconds in the period, three, two, one. That is the end of the third quarter. With a score, the Canton Invaders 5, the Tampa Bay Rowdies 3. We'll come back in a minute. So there you are. Civic Center crowd of 4,193. Welcoming the teams back on the floor for the fourth and final period. Contrary to what I said before the break, it is the fourth quarter. Canton five, Tampa Bay three. And we should have to run about another 30 seconds off the clock before we get the period ready to go. The line for Canton, Kia, Maurer, and Tobin. Pisano and Kondrich on defense, Swanner in goal. Weggerly fall, Astigaraga up front for Tampa Bay with Power and uh, McEwen is in on defense. And Mauser is still in goal for the Rowdies. This is the third year I've been doing this, and I've done hockey for about four or three seasons before that. I have never seen a period where a team did not get at least one shot on goal before that one. And there was no error there. I just don't remember that taking place. The kickoff sails into the... Uh, Tampa Bay in takes one bounce and goes out of play and it was between the flags so it'll be a goal kick for Tampa Bay and that took five seconds off the clock in the fourth quarter. Power dumps it back in the goal area. Mauser outlet midfield. Pisano knocks it away from Weggerly. Kia controls there. Kia trying to get around the boards around one and it's knocked away by fall taken by Power and McEwen with it in the Tampa Bay in and now Weggerly. Weggerly outside the red line, or on the right side it is, to McEwen, working against Maurer. Maurer knocks it away. They chase it back in their own end, and it goes into the waiting hands of the goalkeeper, Mauser. Outlet picked off at midfield by Pisano. Knocked away by Power. Here comes Kia. Kia to Oscar. Oscar will shoot. Rebound goes out behind Kia, and it's taken down, and Kondrich called for the push, and that was a good call. Tomo pushing Weggerly down. First foul of the period. And coming up the floor with it is Astigaraga for Tampa Bay. And taken away by Kondrich, nifty defensive play. Maurer pulls the ball back away from Power of Tampa Bay. And dumps it over to Tobin on the left side. One touch right back in the goal area to Jamie Swanner. We have played one minute of the fourth quarter. 14 minutes left of the game. Canton 5, Tampa Bay 3. Power dumps it in the goal area. And Mauser being hounded by Kia, couldn't pick it up, had to clear. Tobin had it squirt behind him in midfield, but he's able to heal it away from Astigaraga. And Pisano controls. Oscar trying to put a move on Ruben. And they're still kind of jawing back and forth there. Now Oscar sends it airborne for Kia. Kia off his knee, off his chest, back to uh, Kondrich. Kondrich left side at midfield to Don Tobin and back in the invader end to Pisano. Tampa Bay putting up the heat a little bit on defense. They have to now. They're two goals down. Maurer off the right side boards. Kondrich at midfield across the Tampa Bay red line. Back to Tobin. Tobin off the right side boards. Kia and McEwen in a race for it there. Kia wins that and they'll back it up. And I think the invaders may want to try to spread the D out. See if they can get something back door here. Tampa Bay cannot sit back there all night now. They've got to do something with it. Magic Celestin. He shoots and Mauser comes up with a save up against the right post. Eggerly with it. Two Tampa Bay players run into each other, and Rudy very nearly came out of that with a ball. 
And he still may yet. Now they clear it through the box. And it's Dodge with it for Tampa Bay. David Dodge outside the red line. Rowdies will change lines. The Invaders have already done so. 12.40 to play in the game. Dodge working against Celestin. Wants no part of that. He'll back it up in the goal area to uh, Mauser. And now they send it ahead to Rowe. Rowe, ball deflected by Tima, deflected by Schlothauer. Tima trying to get around Hilton, gets it ahead for Celestin. Celestin gets around to Rudy. Rudy leaves it at the midfield line for Magic. Magic hammered from behind by Walters. No call. I don't believe it. Walters just plowed into him from behind. No call. Shot wide. Terry Campbell, I don't know what you're looking at, but you're not, you're missing a good soccer game. Dodge with it at midfield. The officiating has been horrible tonight. It was very good in the first game. It was good for a quarter tonight. It has been terrible for the last three quarters. Dodge with it. Rowe, red line. Tima deflects it again. Celestin gets around his man. Here comes Magic up the middle of the floor. Magic looking, he shoots. Kramer knocked away by Mauser. Mauser was lucky he didn't ram his own head into the post. Tim Tima is upset. Tim Tima is uh, giving Terry Campbell a piece of his mind. And Timmy's been known to be a little fiery at times, but he's got a good cause this time. 11.39 to play in the game. Canton 5, Tampa Bay 3. And the Invaders have dominated a lot more than that. Mauser has kept Tampa Bay in the game, and frankly, the officiating has too. This could be a lot worse than it is. It's 5-3, and it's not, that's not indicative of the way the game has been played. However, Tampa Bay is only two goals away, and in indoor soccer, 11-39 is an eternity. So the Rowdies are still in this thing. Canton's still got work to do. Maurer around one, trying to dump it back. Kondrich got away from his man. Tomo had it deflected by McEwen. And it's Mike Fall with it for Tampa Bay. Dumps it over to Power. Power inside his own red line on the right side of the floor. Now Fall cutting through the midfield circle. Dumps it back to Power, but Kia with a nifty play to knock it away. Power holding Kia, no call, of course. And coming up the floor is McEwen. Knocked it away by Kondrich. Kondrich steers it over for Kia. Kia couldn't get it uh, far enough for Maurer, who was breaking up the right side. Power dumps it over to Weggerly. Weggerly couldn't get the give-and-go feed. And coming the other way is Kondrich, knocked away by Ostigaraga. Ostigaraga heals it back, and Power on the attack. Now fall at the red line for Tampa Bay. Fasano with a deflection, and Maurer with a steal. Maurer, out of a double team, got away from that. Back in the invader end to Kondrich. 10.42 left in the game. Jamie Swanner in the uh, penalty area. He'll come out in the arc. Midfield for Kia off his foot. Elbow thrown by Power. No call. And Swanner had it knocked away. It's loose. Ostigaraga looks. He shoots. And Swanner took that one right in the chest. Here comes Kia on the breakaway. Swanner to Kia. Kia shoots. It's wide. And Mauser comes up with it in the outlet up the left, right side of the floor to Steve Savage. Weggerly left side at midfield. 10-10 left in the game. Weggerly back at his own red line. Chased there by Kramer. Now ahead at the Canton red line to Peter Rowe. Ostigaraga in the corner. Centering pass. And he just missed Mangione. He was lucky he didn't break himself in half going after that pass. Savage on the point. Centering ball. Mangione. No. Mangione got it back. Shoots deflected by Pikasinski. And Ostigaraga double teamed. Trying to get around one. Blocked away by Pisano. Savage dumps it in the corner. Mangione on the right side, 9.43 to play. Centering ball shot, hit the post, and the rebound goal by Weggerly. Ostigaraga will get the assist, and it's 5-4, just like that. And Tampa Bay very much back in this game. Weggerly's second goal of the night. And for Ostigaraga, that's his fourth assist of the year. Weggerly now has five goals on the year. And Tampa Bay has closed it within one at 5-4. And we have an injured player. I think it's Weggerly who scored. Uh, it's, is it Ostigaraga? Ostigaraga is down. Time of that goal will be 5-20. And like I said, the invaders have to be very careful. They, had, they have really dominated the game, but they're only up by one. And we have 9.40 left to play in the game. Kramer dishes the kickoff back to Celestin. Celestin around Walters ahead for Rudy. Nice feed off his heel back to Magic. Magic in the left point. Double teamed. He's able to clear it to Rudy. Rudy is tripped and they call it. 
taken down by uh, Walters. That's the first foul on Tampa Bay in the period. Team fouls are even at one apiece in the fourth quarter. We've not had a six foul penalty called tonight on either team. 9.29 left in the game. The Invaders lead 5 to 4. Schlotthauer, red line right side to Tima, and a shot, and Kramer tried to hit it with his heel. Couldn't get the pass, tries to center for Rudy. Rudy trying to get away, Celestin with a shot, and that's deflected, and it goes out of play. And that'll be a corner kick for the Invaders with 9.23 left. Tampa Bay tried to put it up for a goal kick. If Canton would have done that, Campbell would have called him for, de for delay of game. He's done that several times in past years. And Kramer will put it in play from the right corner. 9.21 left. Canton 5, Tampa Bay 4. Out to Schlotthauer. He fires and scores! Mauser never saw it. Savage had him screened. Mauser never saw it. Schlotthauer the goal. Kramer the assist. The Invaders lead 6-4. Second goal of the season, Kramer's second assist of the night. Time of the goal, 6.42. 5.42 is the time of the goal, I'm sorry. And the Invaders back by two, 6-4. Into the Canton, in comes the kickoff. Schlotthauer sends it to midfield. Kramer couldn't get it. Rose got it at the red line for Tampa Bay, backing into his own end. And Mauser, who's still shaking his head over that, he never saw it. I think Steve Savage had him screened. Mauser never saw that ball until it was in the back of the net. They dump it into Canton end. It's Hilton working in the corner. Timo over for the double team. The back out in the point to Mangione. Savage with a shot blocked by Pikasinski. And Savage pushes it over to Rowe on the left side. Rowe dumps it in the corner. Uh, Walters working back to the net there. And he collides with Tima. And Kramer comes away with the ball. Ahead to Tima. Tima tried to clear to Rudy. Pass was a little far. And Rowe sends it back into the corner. It's Walters working there with it. Eight and a half minutes left to play. Canton six, Tampa Bay four. Walters in the corner. Mangione wall pass. Walters in the give and go. Knocked it out of play. Let's see if Tima got a piece of that. I don't believe he did. And it'll be a goal kick for Canton with 8.22 left in the game. And the Invaders lead 6-4. Next Invader home game one week from tonight. The Milwaukee Wave rolls into town. 8.05 kickoff at the Civic Center. Tickets available at the Invaders Ticket Office here at the Civic Center and at any Ticketmaster location. Airtime here on WHBC, if you can't make it here, is 7.55. Tom Condrich with it in the penalty area. Ostigaraga creeps in and Swanner picks it up. Outlet for Kia. Kia midfield working against McEwen. Back at the red line to Pisano. Pisano back in the goal area for Jamie Swanner. 8.07 left in the game. Long lead, headed back by Fall, back to Ostigaraga. Shot hit Swanner in the chin, and it's cleared out, uh, and Tobin clears for Kia. Here they come, two on one. Kia's got Maurer if he sees him. I don't know if he does. He didn't. Drops it back to Tobin. Now Maurer out front. Maurer to an open Condridge. He shoots no. Rebound, Kia just missed it, coming in the left side. Back out to Pisano. Pisano around one against the boards. Trying to get around two. Does. In the corner. Oscar looking for a feed. Wegerly took the ball away from behind. And the push goes against Maurer as he got a piece of Wegerly. Second foul on the Invaders. And again, I'll tell you, that one was a good call. Fall coming up. Tampa Bay in the Canton end now in the left corner against Pisano. Ostigaraga crosses. They dump it back out front. Here it comes to Power. Power outside the red line on the right side to Wegerly. Wegerly, ball picked clean by Tobin, and here comes Maurer. Invaders will attack three on two if they hurry. Maurer, middle of the floor. He shoots and scores! They took one away from him earlier, but Steve Maurer not to be denied. He gets the goal. The Invaders lead seven to four. Give the assist to Don Tobin. 
time of the goal. 7.53. And after Tampa Bay closed to within one, the Invaders have answered them back with two straight, and they lead by three. The biggest lead of the night, 7-4. 4,193 at the Civic Center, and the place is rocking. 7.07 left, and now you got to wonder how soon will Tampa Bay, if they don't score quickly, will they pull the keeper? Celestin goes up in the air to head it away from Mangione. Unfortunately, he headed it into the stands, and Tampa Bay will put the ball in play from just inside the Canton red line. Steve Savage getting some playing time on defense along with Rowe. And they have uh, pulled uh, David Dodge out of the lineup for right now. Canton 7, Tampa Bay 4. Mangione double team. Kia knocks it away. To Tima controls, dumps it back to Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer sends it long for Kramer. Kramer trying to get around Savage. Does. Artie, he shoots. It's wide in a, to the left side. I think Savage got a piece of it from behind. They fight for it out front. Savage tried to get it away from Rudy and got it into the goalkeeper, Mauser. Outlet on the right side to Walters. 6.40 left in the game. And a bad pass, terrible pass by Walters, taken away by Rudy. Ahead to Kramer. He's got Schlotthauer wide open. It's good! That hit Savage and went in. I think Kramer will get the goal, and I don't know if you give an assist on that or not. Savage sure doesn't want one. The Invaders lead 8-4. And they're blowing it open in the fourth quarter. And they give Rudy Pikasinski the assist, his third assist of the night. Time of the goal, 8.28. Kramer from Pikasinski. And the Invaders lead it 8-4. And boy, it was like that fourth goal by Tampa Bay was like, hey, boys, we're not done with you yet. Swanner had it knocked out of play. And Tampa Bay will put it in in the Canton end. Steve Savage with it. Kramer's shot hit Savage on the shoulder and went in. And here we come. Kramer on the breakaway up the left side. He's got Magic up the middle. Magic shoots. It scores! that came here tonight wondering if the Invaders could play with the Tampa Bay Rowdies. Ladies and gentlemen, they can not only play with them, they're blowing them out. Steve Paxos is dancing on the table up here to our right. Great balls of fire. Time of the goal, 8.50. Celeste in his second goal of the night. Kramer gets the assist, his third assist of the night. Kramer, two goals, five assists. The Invaders lead 9-4. to four. And the shots on goal are going to be embarrassing in this thing if you're Tampa Bay. They get it ahead to Maurer. Maurer looking for a feed out front. They're not done. Here comes Kondrich to Maurer, to Kia. Ball knocked away. Kia got it back. He shoots, hit the post. Maurer, rebound. Looking for a feed. He shoots it. No. Mauser just got a hand on it. Kia back on the point. Kondrich around a man. Now Kondrich double team gets it to Kia. Kia dumps it back at midfield. 5.33 to play. Invaders lead by five. Just a minute ago it was one. And all of a sudden the Civic Center roof caved in on the Tampa Bay Rowdies. <laughs> and you got a foul against Pisano. <laughs> I'll tell you what, when Oscar does something wrong and turns around, that's got to be the most innocent little boy in the cookie jar look that you'd ever want to see in the league. Here is Power, centering ball, Astigaraga knocked away. And Power goes down and Swanner comes up with it. And here comes Condridge. Five minutes left in the game as the Invaders serving notice on the rest of the AISA that if anybody wants to take this crown away, the road to the championship goes through Canton. Nine to four invaders. They try to find fall cherry picking. Condor stepped in front of the pass. Kia on the break. He shoots it, hit the crossbar. Rebound comes to Tobin. Tobin 
taken down from behind, and the tripping call will go against Wegerly. Second foul on Tampa Bay of the period, and the Invaders will put it in play. 4.38 to go in the game. Canton has it well in hand, 9-4, to four, and uh, any thought of pulling the keeper is pretty well out of the game plan now. Unless Tampa gets a couple of quick ones, and the ball's in the wrong end of the floor for that. Now they'll take it back, dump it into Swanner. The Invaders will call a timeout with 4.29 left to play in the game. We'll take a break. Standing O. Some of the folks getting up. They should all be up. 4.29 to go. In the Taking control in the fourth quarter. They lead the Tampa Bay Rowdies 9-4. Nine to four, Canton. Swanner will pick the ball up in his penalty area. Surveys the situation, launches it long, and trying to get it around to Kramer, and it's dumped back in the goal area. And you have an obstruction, I think, against Rudy. And that's four fouls on the invaders in the period. 4-18, 4-19, the clock's not moving. The clock should be moving. There's a shot, and Swanner comes up with a beauty of a save up against the post. Savage out front. Still got to get used to seeing Steve with a hair to the point where you can read the number on the back of his shirt. Swanner comes up with another butte, taking the ball right off the foot of Savage out front. And the outlet short on the left side to Tim Tima. Under four minutes left in the game. Magic Celestin across the red line. Dumps it down for Pikasinski. Savage will knock it away from him. And uh, it is Mangione ahead now for Walters. 3.44 left. Walters spins, lets Rudy clear at the red line. And the left side to Savage. Savage handed ball picked away by Kramer. And it will come down to Mauser. He can't use his hands. He's out of the box, knocked away. Schlotthauer to Kramer. Mauser out again, knocked it off the boards. But Schlotthauer got it back, looking for Artie, but knocked it right into the waiting hands of Mauser. And he was back in the box that time. Here comes Walters, working on Celestin up the right side of the floor. Magic backs him up to the point area. And now it comes to Mangione, clearing to an open row left side. Tima to cut him off. And a shot by Walters and a save by Swanner. 3-10 to play in the game. Pikasinski at the Canton red line. Tries to get it ahead for Rudy. It's knocked away by Rowe, but taken back by Tima for the invaders. Celestin spins and leaves it back for Timmy Tima. Magic with a little bit of a hot dog move, leaves it for Tima. And here it comes for Donnie Tobin. 2.51 left in the game. And Swanner sends it ahead, and that'll be a handball against Rowe. That's the third foul on Tampa Bay. And we got problems. Kia and Mangione uh, exchanged pleasantries, and I don't think they were talking about where they were going after the game. Couple of 19s getting a bit feisty with one another out in front of the goal. And it's Maurer back in the uh, corner, now on the right point area to Tobin. Tobin. Looking for uh, Maurer. Maurer tries to clear, and it's knocked away. Kondrich in a race with it, but uh, Pisano is back on D. Sends it ahead for Tobin. Two and a half minutes to play. Toby launches it for Maurer in the corner. Maurer working on Savage. They try to clear. Savage and Rowe knock the ball into each other, and it ended up in the uh, hands of the goalkeeper, Mauser. Mauser saying, hey, guys, I'm getting enough shots at me from the guys in gray. I don't need them from you guys. Centering ball, Astigaraga couldn't get the shot away. He had too much momentum going the other way. Again, there are two Tampa players in each other's way. And Swanner comes down with it in the goal area. And that one was hit by an invader last. Under two minutes, a minute 57 left in the game. Kondrich left uh, McEwen sitting, but the ball knocked away by Frankovic. And now Pisano back playing safety. McEwen knocks it away from him. They send it long. It's too far for fall. And Swanner with the outlet short right side to Pisano. Now on the left side, it comes to Kondrich. Minute 38 to play. Canton leads 9-4. Maurer midfield circle, dishes back. Left side at midfield to Don Tobin. It's all over, but the shouting. The only thing that's going to matter the rest of this game is whether anybody pads their stats. Kondrich dumps it off on the right side for Oscar Pisano. Minute 17. Pisano backing away from Astigaraga. Tampa Bay knows it's over, too. They're just kind of playing out the string. And it's cleared out midfield. Now Wegerly with it for Tampa Bay. One minute left in the game. Power shot. And the wall pass. Nobody there but Tobin for Canton. And he steers it in for Swanner. Outlet to Maurer. 
They're taking their time. The invaders have no desire to rub their faces in it right now. They've got the good win put away safely. And they know that they're going to play a lot. And uh, McEwen and Pisano plow into one another. Oscar's still down. McEwen bounces right back up. The foul will go against McEwen. Timeout. We got an injury. As Pisano will be attended to by the trainers with 42 seconds left in the game. Canton 9, Tampa Bay 4. You had the feeling that it was that if the Tampa Bay was sitting on a powder keg. It was just a matter of time. I mean, you don't get outshot 14 nothing in a quarter. It was a matter of time before the invaders could blow this thing wide open and it just blew open here in the fourth quarter. 9 to 4 Canton, 42 ticks remaining on the Civic Center scoreboard clock. The invaders will go to 2 and 0. Tampa Bay will fall to 3 and 1. Invaders are in action next Friday against Milwaukee. Tampa Bay has a game Sunday also against Milwaukee. Wegerly with it in the corner in the Canton end, right side, back to the net against Condridge. He takes it back out to the point. Midfield, Power dumps it over to Savage. Savage lost the ball to Rudy. Here we go again on the break. And Rudy couldn't get it. And it was uh, hit by one of the hands of the Tampa player on the bench. And they'll give it to Tampa Bay. 22 seconds left. Ostigaraga to put the ball in play. It went out in the Tampa bench. Ruling is it would have been out anyway. I think it's the correct call. Shot wide. Swanner comes up with it. 17 seconds left in the game. Offensive player of the game is Art Kramer. Defensive player of the game is Tom Condrich. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. It's over. The Canton Invaders take control in the fourth quarter and take home a 9-4 victory over the Tampa Bay Rowdies. Canton scores four goals in the period, and they win it 9-4. The Invaders are 2-0, and they'll be in action next week against the Milwaukee Wave, and we'll be back to look at this one in a minute. have uh, just registered a very impressive victory over the Tampa Bay Rowdies. Final score was 9-4, and it was 5-4 in the fourth quarter, but the Invaders dominated the soccer game, and I'll tell you how. They, they outshot Tampa Bay 41-14. Nine saves for Swanner. His record goes to 2-0. Mauser falls to 3-1. He makes 24 saves and gives up nine goals. I said this last week in the Toledo game, and it was indicative, but it was only a two-point difference in the stat. When your keeper makes more saves than you have shots on goal, you know you've had problems, and when your keeper has to make 10 more saves than you've had shots on goal, you have been dominated. And it was a case where the invaders had some unfortunate uh, breaks from the officials, and uh, some great goalkeeping by Mauser kept Tampa Bay in the game for three quarters. But uh, the guys in uh, gray and red were not to be denied in the fourth quarter, and they blow it open and they win it. Let's take a look at the scoring in the game. Canton, early lead, 10-13 in the first quarter. Key of the goal, Condridge the assist. It was one to nothing. 
At the 11.54 mark of period one, Art Kramer found the back of the net. Rudy Pikusinski the assist. It was two to nothing. Tampa Bay closed it within two to one by the end of the period. Steve Weggerly the goal at 12.51 and uh, Tony Frankovich getting the assist. Then in the second period, 1.29 in, Ruben Astiguraga tied it. Mike Fawley assist for Tampa Bay. And the Rowdies took what would be their only lead of the night at 6.18 of the period. Tim Walters the goal, Solomon Hilton the assist to make it 3-2. The Invaders tied it up by the intermission. Rudy Pikasinski with a goal at 9.43 of the second quarter. Don Tobin the assist, and we went into halftime, knotted up at 3-3. At 4.58 of the third quarter, Magic Celestin got the goal. Rudy Pikasinski the assist to make it 4-3 Invaders. 14.43 of the period. Kia found the back of the net for the second time tonight. Art Kramer the assist. It was 5-3. Now we played that way for about five minutes of the fourth quarter with the Invaders leading 5-3. And then Steve Weggerly scored for the second time of the night for Tampa Bay. Ostagaraga the assist. And with uh, less than 10 minutes left in the game, Tampa Bay was within one goal at 5-4. And then the Invaders put things into overdrive. And that was it. Schlotthauer from Kramer, 542 to make it 6-4. Maurer from Tobin, 753, it was 7-4. Kramer from Rudy Pikasinski at 828, it was 8-4. And Celestin applied the Coupe de Grasse at 850. Kramer with his third assist, already had two goals and three assists tonight, and the Invaders walk away from it. Nine to four victors, 4,193 at the Civic Center. Canton 2-0. Oh. We'll be back with a closing comment after this. As we approach the high. during the week. The, the guys came in tonight feeling they had something to prove. You heard people talking, Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay's good. How good are they? Can we play with them? And <laughs> they played with them. They blew them out. Nine to four. They outshot them 14 to nothing in the third quarter. They outshot them 41 to 14 for the game. Uh, it was dominant. They dominated the game. The goalkeeper, Mauser, and again, some unfortunate calls by the officials. The only thing that kept Tampa Bay in the game for three quarters, and the Invaders uh, certainly an improved performance. Frankly, they were a little rusty in the Toledo game. Boy, none of that tonight. It was, uh, they were awesome. Good scoring opportunities. Both lines clicking together well. The defense was there. Swanner had a good game in the goal. And, uh, you know, just about all you could hope for. Canton with a 9-4 to four win. I don't think anybody thought this would be a five-goal spread. But it ended up that way. The Invaders blew it open in the final 10 minutes. Once Tampa Bay got down by a couple, it looked like they just kind of rolled over and died as well. But the Invaders win it 9-4. to four. We thank you for being with us. Uh, we also congratulate our two contest winners tonight, uh, Richard McLean and... Anna Peters, both of Massillon, they both win uh, the two tickets to a uh, future Invaders game, dinner for two at the Red Bull Inn. Anna's got a T-shirt from Ohio Health Choice Plan. Richard's got himself a nice coffee mug.